who always believe what they see but not what they cannot see so how do we give them the first step in believing the unseen that's my question the, the thing for me is that um, the belief in Allah our assumption is that it's natural that it that it's predisposed so we don't have to have an elaborate, elaborate philosophical conversation with children about the unseen simply describing it in the terms that Allah has but since you asked about children adding that we do not discuss hell and judgment day and the destruction of nations with children because those those revelations were given to rebellious people they were they were given to Quraysh when they were acting like Pharaoh when they were acting like the nation of Lut or acting like the nation of Saleh etc so to teach children the destruction of nations is counterproductive and also you give a lesson to the appropriate audience and the appropriate original audience for that was the rebels right so but our children because they have love in them to, to introduce them to Allah's love forget Allah's existence you don't need to philosophically prove anything to a child but you can describe Allah as the one who loves the one who cares the one who shows who protects and on a daily basis as you're sitting with your children for lunch or dinner you say how did Allah protect us today how did Allah love us today how did Allah care for us today what did Allah forgive today? What did you ask Allah to forgive today? You build a relationship with Allah based on these positive attributes and it creates a, an emotional bond with Allah. And you can simply naturally introduce, what do you think the angels wrote down today for us? What did they write down against us? Simple things like that. And you'll find that it has a profound effect on the personality of a child growing up. There's a, a, you know, I, I gave this advice a long time ago that if you're, you know, you want your children to just have a relationship with Allah at the heart of it. You know, really, it's, you know, people worry about how much Arabic will they know, how much Quran will they memorize, how much, how do I teach them Islam, how do I teach them history. That's all easy. That's not the hard part. How do they have a bond with Allah? That's, if you have that, everything else will come anyway, right? I, I, I gave the advice. And I met some people that followed that advice for a few years. Just let your children know every single day that Allah loves them and have conversations about how He loves them. Just that. Simple. Nothing more, nothing less. Well, he loves them and how He loves them. And simply something like that about the Prophet How much the Prophet loved us, how much we love Him. And why we love Him. Some small thing about why we love Him. And that, that love keep, the word love keeps coming up, coming up, coming up. 